Uh, you know, I personally saw him. We scout, we've scouted him extensively, and and you know, I think he's going to be a really successful pitcher anywhere he pitches on the planet. But uh, but you know, so he's a free agent. We'll see where it takes us. But yeah, we'll, we've definitely uh, had conversations, and and uh, we'll give us our best efforts. I'll just try to keep it, you know, short. I'll just say, you know, we're impressed, and and uh, you know, there's reasons we have. We send our pro scouts over, and we have a scout on the ground over over there, and uh, to make sure that we don't, you know, miss out on any opportunities that might present themselves. And and uh, he's a tremendous opportunity um, for anybody. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. But very impressive uh, and talented player. You know, it, obviously, I, I don't want to comment on all free agents. So uh, just, you know, obviously the obvious one is Yamamoto coming over and in Otani's case, he's a major league free agent. Um, and we are certainly, I, I talked to his agent. I would concede that, but leave it at no more than that. When, when trade discussions come up, would you say a pitcher like Michael King might be one of your untouchables? You know, I don't think after a year we've had, I, you know, there'd be very few untouchables. Um, you know, so, but obviously we value Michael King a lot. You know, uh, he was, He's been a very good player for us, and um, you know certainly, you know, it makes us better by having him here, um, and that's probably why players like him and others, despite having a bad year, we have a lot of players that uh, te teams are interested in. That's a good thing. You got you giving up years of control on guys for a, a one-year rental. Those are the decisions you have to make. You know, um, you know, so it depends where you think your team happens to be sitting and how you know uh, how helpful or impactful the, the area of need the fill is and. And you got to weigh, weigh those decisions out and make a call at some point if you match up, you know. So you got to first match up, and then you got to make tough decisions. So I don't know. I mean, I feel like that, you know, when you're when you're the GM of the Yankees, the manager of the Yankees, the owner of the Yankees, or any person in any capacity with the Yankees, you know, there's always the pressure to try to uh, do do really good, impactful things on a you know a day in and day out basis. And so, and you know, obviously, we certainly are always trying to be a playoff contender that can challenge for a World Series. And so that and and when you fall short of that you have what took place this year, which is a lot of a lot of anger and and uh, and questions. And so so I, I you know I don't know if it's any more, you know, uh, pressure now than in the in the past because it's you know, it's always that goal and, and it's it's a goal that's it's easy to fall short of, unfortunately, because I guess you always bet the field if you're playing Vegas odds every year, no matter what, um, because it's hard to win a World Series. But but that's our, you know, uh, standard. So you know, we're gonna get back at it and, and do the best we can. I think we have good players. I mean, uh, you know, I do. I think we have good players that, uh, you know, for various reasons, whether it's some of them were underperforming, some of them were injuries. We talked about it in Scottsdale. You know, uh, you know, allowed it to all come together with uh, the year we had this past year. Um, but ultimately, I think we have a chance to be, you know, obviously a really good team with some really good moves. So that's the, that's the goal. We're trying to, to make some good additions that will have positive impact and then count on the players that, that we have currently here that we know are really good to either bounce back or be healthy again. And, and hopefully all those combinations, if they can play out that way, will will produce something that our fans will be really proud to, to come out and watch on a daily basis. Well, I think uh, like all communities, I'm sure the, the Major League, the, the Nippon uh, uh, baseball community is connected. So I know that, you know, we've had some great players from Japan play for us. Tanaka, Matsui, um, Kuroda, uh, Ichiro Suzuki, you know, those are the success stories that we've had. And, and, um, and they've, I know they all really enjoy their time here. Um, it's a great city to play in, um, and uh, obviously, typically a, a playoff contending situation on a year in and year out basis. Um, so, uh, I think we have a lot of things to be proud of, and a lot of things we can, you know, uh, count on as being allowing us to be an attractive destination place, not just for players coming from Japan, but, but to your specific question, yeah, we've had players come here, thrive here, enjoy it here, and obviously them carrying those type of messages back, whether it's directly through us or indirectly already because, you know, they're asked questions by players over there, what's it like and stuff. I think it's all helpful. Are any of those guys actively helping you recruit I right now? I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say. Yeah, you know, obviously, sure. clearly, you know, we're going to put our best foot forward in our attempts to 
recruit free agents and and uh, and whatever you know we feel is helpful. Clearly, the biggest thing typically is negotiating a, a contract that would be something that would be enticing. But on top of that, if there's certain things that would assist the process or help you know you know shine a positive light on on us, because all those efforts are more educational from our end, not like not trying to entice somebody by. Just like, hey, we have people that if you want to talk to, you know, to help you make the best decision for you as you move forward because what's best for them is going to be best for us. We don't want to put somebody in a place that they shouldn't be, but we think this is a good spot for, for a lot of people. And uh, and so we'll see. You know, so ultimately we'll, we'll play every card necessary that, that, that we think is going to help us and see where it takes us. Oh, I don't know if anybody can compete with Steve Cohen, you know, um, but, uh, you know, he's obviously uh, – a, a titan of, of, of industries had a lot of success and built built uh, an empire so which has allowed him to do things like the Mets you know so good for him and uh, his family and and uh, but I think you know we can just concentrate on what we're going to concentrate on we'll obviously it's a player of interest and we'll, we'll compete for him and see where that takes us and and it'll be enough or it won't be enough but um, but as I said I think we do have a strong uh, set up currently and we just like to add to it if we can. 